Crush here. Uh, I hope you guys like that little bit of a cinematic intro, trying to up the production value to get all those, uh, all the sweet, sweet, um, sweet, sweet uh, subscribes on uh, this channel. And, uh, so you better subscribe if you like some cr crazy card uh, magic or magic. Uh, all right. Uh, so today I'm going to show you guys uh, just my touches on a classic move, which I've gotten requests for in the comments, the Elmsley count. And I know everyone's done a tutorial on the Elmsley count, but I thought I'd just give a little bit of touches as to what's helped me do the move. So hopefully that could help you do the move and, uh, to, you know, fool all the ladies, you know, with uh, the Elmsley count. That's what they're uh, all about these days. <laughs> So the Elmsley count has a multitude of uses. Now, when it comes to the actual count itself, the way it looks like, uh, let's say you want to hide this third card. It just simply looks like you're counting these four cards and they're four face down cards. However, guess what? You have that face up card that's hidden in the, in the back, uh, like your regrets for, um, so that's the that's one use of the Elmsley count. Another potential use is to count more cards as four cards. So let's say that we have, this is a packet of four, this is a two additional cards. So we're counting these six cards as four cards, uh, even though obviously there are way more than that. Uh, now, obviously when we get to more cards, that's when it becomes a little bit of a harder move to cover because of the front edge and you need to be a little bit angle sensitive to cover that sort of action going. But the basic action in the move, let's assume that we wanna hide the third card from the face. That's gonna be the card that's hiding throughout this count itself. So what's gonna happen is that you're gonna combine a couple actions with your little fingertips. So first thing you gotta do is you gotta bring your thumb and your forefinger to the middle of that card that top middle or about an inch inward of the card, uh, an inch. So you guys could compare it to, you know, whatever it is you guys need to compare it to to make sure that that's about an inch there. And you're gonna put your thumb and your forefinger there. Now the first action is gonna be a little bit of pressure between the thumb and the forefinger. You see what that does? Oh boy, I'm already getting excited. So what that does is that that separates that top card from the other three cards from the packet. So your little dirty hands could come in from the side and pinch this packet of three cards. So that's the first action. And I think one of the more overlooked sort of things of the Elmsley count. So you're putting pressure with the thumb and you're pushing with the forefinger. You see, it's a, it's a combined action. And you're not just doing one of those actions, you're doing both of those actions. So what that's gonna do is that that's gonna move the top card towards the left slightly at an angle and give you a little bit of a, a, little bit of a shelf for you to put your dirty little fingers to grab those three cards. In action, all that's happened is this. That's, that's all that's happened. So we're pinching, we're grasping these three cards, and that's where we're at so far. And that's one already that we've counted into the hand. Oh boy, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what's inside. Uh, so the next action is the one that people tend to have another difficulty with, and that's pushing all these cards as one. So after you count the first card, into the left hand, you're gonna push with your thumb at approximately off center. Notice that it's not directly in the center, it's off center. You're gonna push with your thumb. It's an opposing force. So these fingers are pushing this way as the thumb is pushing towards the left. What that's gonna do is that this card is gonna get pushed off to the left. But guess what? Because of that pressure, this card is actually two cards. Oh man, what a... What a hot piece of ass that is. So after you count the first card, you're pushing with your thumb and making sure that the cards are square as possible. That's another a little bit of a tidbit that's gonna be a hard thing to do when you're first learning this move. You wanna make sure that that card is as square as possible. If it's not square, you're gonna get this sort of action and they're gonna wonder, oh, hey, is that the appearing face of card trick? And you're gonna have to uh, subsequently provide sexual favors for them to forget the action. So you've counted one card, you've pushed off, Two cards is one with your right thumb. And now you're gonna do two actions at the same time because the next action is that you're gonna take these two cards as one into your left hand as you steal that card that was previously in your left hand in the bottom of the card in the right hand. I know it sounds like a lot's going on, but really, it's not really that hard. So first things first, you're pushing off that card. You're gonna square these two cards with this card in your hand as one. You're gonna square them up as one, and your left thumb is gonna put pressure to take that card into the left hand. Now at the same time, 
these fingertips are pushing this card squared with the card in the right hand. The reason for that is because if you don't do that, you're gonna get a magical appearing card underneath and you don't want that. So you want this uniform counting to be as even as possible. You don't want this uh, thing happening where you have a card sticking out here, even though there shouldn't be a card sticking out. So you're taking one card in the left hand, you're pushing these two cards as one into the left hand, that card gets stolen underneath, this card gets counted. Again, this card is uh, passing off as one. However, it's two cards with that bottom card being squared up. Then you're going to simply count the next card onto the hand. And guess what? You're going to count the last card onto your left hand. From this angle, it looks like this. That's it. Like you're counting four cards. That's how you want to get it. You don't want to get one of these sort of, one of, you want it to be a uniform count. Another hot little tip, hot little tip is uh, where you draw attention to. Uh, where you put the focus. So are you going to put the focus on the left hand, right? Or are you going to put the focus on the right hand cards? It's up to you and it's up to what the trick entails. So if you're going to put focus on the cards in the left hand, you're going to go one, two, three, and four. If you're going to put attention on the cards in the right hand, so you go, that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, right there. But that entirely depends on the trick. So uh, you wait till you learn a good trick with that. Oh, do I have a good trick with the Elmsley count? Yeah, you should totally check out Twisting the Aces uh, uh, on this channel. You should check that out. It's a really, really hot trick. But uh, the Elmsley count is a very useful move to have in your arsenal. So once you get the cadence down and once you get that rhythm, it becomes a very nice looking count. Uh, and a quick modification tip for you guys. If you have this card second from the top face up, you're going to have to do a modified version of the Elmsley count. So instead of pushing that one card into the left hand, which will expose your situation here, you need to push off the bottom card into the left hand and then do the mechanics of the Elmsley count. So the way that's done is the exact opposite of that first thing. So instead of pushing up with your fingertip, just like this, what's happening is that you're pushing with your thumb towards the right. So your thumb is pushing off all the cards, but one into the right hand. You see that? It's putting a little bit of pressure and putting all these cards in the right hand. Then you get into the same mechanics of the Elmsley count and you're good to go. You have a, an Elmsley count that works with the card here and you have an Elmsley count that works with the card here. Oh boy, man, you guys are learning so much here. I'm so proud of you guys. So uh, yeah, those are some tips on the Elmsley count. It's obviously a very useful move in the, uh, in the lore of magic. You guys better uh, do all the things that people do uh, when it comes to videos. Oh man, I'm gonna go figure out different ways to ingest a Bowser Amiibo and be able to uh, excrement a Metal Hat Mario, a Metal Hat Mario. The fuck are you doing over there, man? You know, there's a subscribe button if you haven't clicked on it there. I know it pops up. Also the Patreon button, I have an academy going. You might wanna check that out if you guys uh, you know, are into the whole beginner stuff. So check out the Pig K Cunt Card Academy. That's hot, hot stuff. Um, man, I might be gay. <laughs>